So we got the 2024 uh, Skeeter FXR, just got it um, last night. Tournament ready, it's ready to go. The only thing that we haven't done is it hasn't been to the wrap shop yet. And this is a year that typically I get that done right off the bat. I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna wait on that a little bit. We're gonna do some, we're gonna do some fishing and uh, we're gonna try it without a wrap. But we're just gonna do a total walkthrough of everything that I put on the boat. But also there's some new things on the 24 uh, Skeeters that you might be kinda interested in. You know, you'll see here, easy step. I think this is the third or the fourth year uh, that I've run this. And you know, the, the big thing about that is just being able to get in and out of the boat. I'm by myself a lot when I fish, so I can unload, I can hop in, I can hop out and not get my feet wet. Um, new color for me, you know, the buyer of this boat next year actually picked this and uh, I kind of like it. If you'll notice here, we have different wheels this year. We don't have the low profile. I'm really a fan of these. Uh, I like how the low profiles look, but if you travel as much as we do, um, you know, you got curbs and, and even the boat ramps. Like you, you come down a boat ramp and they'll be curbed under the water. You don't see them and you'll scratch your rims and stuff. So I like them and I like the looks of them. Uh, dual, dual blades, Atlas jack plate. Of course, Yamaha Show 250, um, the leash, you know, a lot of the places we go in the past and, and on the schedule next year, you know, Lake Fork, uh, Toledo Bend, you know, with all that standing timber, uh, stumps, rocks, things like that, um, just gives me a little peace of mind. Steer stops here, keeps your engine from going left to right. You know, somebody asked me, so why do you run your cord? out of the back of the boat and not over there by the driver's seat, you know, where Skeeter actually puts it in. I do that for one reason. That way when my boat's covered, I can still access that point and not have to take my cover on and off to be able to get to my, uh, get to my cord there. So now we're uh, inside, we're gonna start at the bow. And what you're gonna notice is there's, there's some things that are the same, a lot of things that are actually the same and, and kind of my philosophy on that, if it's, if it's not broke, you don't need to fix it. Uh, but there is a few things that's a little bit different. You know, you got two live scope transducers up there. One's on the turret, uh, one's on the trolling motor. The trolling motor is the one I use to hunt with. Like when I'm fishing, I can hunt. The turret is used for like uh, spot lock, anchor lock. Um, also, like if we're in Florida or something, I can put it in perspective mode. I can just, that's an independent. I can do whatever I want with that. But the one I hunt with, you know, that's the one where my eyes are pretty much glued. Uh, we got a 12, two 10s, um, the precision sonar mount up here in the front. Um, it's, it's a different mount than in the past in that it has an adjustment. Even though I can tilt the units, I can tilt, tilt the whole mount forward, back, just to kind of customize. That's for, that's for me and, and every other fisherman. Everybody's different. So they're just giving us a way to be able to customize it. Also, it helps them, you know, going from different boats. Hydrowave, troll tamer here, which is tapped in to that stabilizer bar. I mean, that's solid as a rock. Uh, you know, something new here, we stabilized this thanks to the trip to St. Lawrence River last year. It got real rough and we decided that we needed the stabilizer bar right there to be able to support all of that. Chill tracks on the uh, foot pedal there. Gonna bust in some compartments. Nothing's in this boat yet. Literally, that's what all that stuff is over there. I'm getting ready to start loading it up. Rod box, same as last year. Also, you got some. So I got four of these rock lights in the front. These two are red. You know, that's just like for early morning takeoff. These are white a bright white light. That way, whenever I'm working on tackle at night or early in the morning, you know, they shine in on me where I don't have to have a flashlight or anything like that. Something new 
on the Skeeter this year is we've always been able to put rods over here, um, but the you know the back of it kind of just never ended. Now they got uh, places to put your rods and tie them in. Addition there. That's all the same. There's a new addition in this. I think that we used to be able to hold 16 boxes, 12, and now it's 16, I think is the deal. So they just added more, they just kind of reorganized it, made it to where you can get more tackle, more boxes in there. Trash can still there, kind of the day box, dry box is there. The cooler has increased in size, which I thought it was a pretty big cooler in the first place. You'll notice here, I, did, I added something to this, Bluetooth radio, just where I can listen to games, uh, when the fishing's slow, listen to music. Uh, another precision sonar mount here, um, two 12s, you know, and they got uh, a 36, I mean, tilt trim, digital, jack plate. All of them over there is your dashboard. Everything in the back here is pretty much the same. Uh, these two boxes, the only change in this, and this is pretty cool. I know a guy this year that actually lost five fish because of his floats kind of disintegrated and got caught in the aerator. Floating mats to keep him from hitting the lid. So now we'll hop out and uh, I'll show you the battery compartment. I think that's gonna be it. So kind of wrapping up, we're here in the back. Um, you know, th this is the battery compartment, just real roomy. The charge is in the middle there. Um, we're short of battery just because it hasn't came in yet. So there'll be two 36s here, lithium pros. 112, I repeat, 112 on that side. Um, it's capable of running everything. You know, last year I started with 13.3 volts in the morning and I would end the day, tournament days, with 13.3 volts. And then on that side over there is all the power pole pumps, breakers, all of that, the spare prop will go here. Um, other than that, I think that wraps up a uh, walkthrough of the 2024 rig for the year.